Over the years, Cuba has built a proud record of victories at the Olympics and other international baseball competitions. Sports, especially baseball, which dominates in Cuba, are considered amateur only here, so many baseball players have defected from the island to play with the U.S. major leagues. A thaw in U.S.-Cuba relations under former President Barack Obama allowed local players to join the U.S. major leagues, while U.S.-based Cuban players came here to train young talents. Obama visited in 2016 and joined former President Raul Castro at a U.S.-Cuba baseball game in Havana. However, things change under former President Donald Trump. As the 2023 World Baseball Classic approaches, the Biden administration has granted permission for Cuban baseball players abroad to join the national team. CGTN attended a training session of the Cuban pre-selection to the Baseball Classic at Havana's Latino Americano Stadium. We spoke with some players about the event. I think joining the major league players will allow us to share experiences as brothers and play together as part of the Cuba team in an important event like the baseball classic. Ariel Martinez is a versatile professional catcher who has played with Japan's professional clubs. We will contribute our experience to the Cuban team and help improve the team and help it win. Cuban trainers and coaches expect a good result out of the joint team. This combined team will complement our efforts. They are all Cuban players who have not been with us for various reasons, but their presence will strengthen our national team's performance. Cuba has participated in the World of Baseball Classic since 2006, when it finished runner-up to Japan. The 2023 World Baseball Classic will open March 8th at various venues around the world. Cuba will face the Netherlands in the first game. Luis Chirino, CGTN, Havana.